Filter Show with Paul and Grady. Paul, where the heck are we today? Okay, so we're in St. George in Bloomington up on the North Bluff. Man, it's beautiful up here. It really is. And we are looking at something really cool. What is it? So this is a 50-foot concrete arrow that basically consisted, that, that helped the United States back in the 20s, almost 100 years ago, to navigate their mail system. So they didn't have GPS back then. They relied on concrete arrows. That's right. And even radar was just a thought. Wow, that's incredible. And out west, the cities were so far and few between, and few people had lights. Wow, so this is a relic. This is a landmark. Yeah, and there's four of these in Washington County. Cool. And there's one here, there's one in Washington, and there's another one by Quill Creek Reservoir, and there's one more that they haven't found. Well, we have an expert, right? Yeah. Let's bring him in. So, tell us about these arrows. Well, a real good friend of mine, Larry Henry, down in Phoenix, found them, talked about them, and sent me an email. He said, hey, you need to check these out. I love finding Americana, so. Yeah. I looked it up on the internet, did a little research, and I found, well, shoot, they're right here in St. George. So 10 minutes after I get the information, I'm here. And I'm goosebumpy. This is just really, really, really cool stuff. I went to all the arrows, got the pictures. Um, EAA, the experimental aviation group here, took us up in an airplane, let us do some aerial photography, wow. which was great with them. Uh, and then uh, we ran the article, which was subsequently picked up by multiple TV stations. And Let's see. ultimately, <laughs> National Geographic. Every photographer's dream. Every photographer's dream. I've been taking <laughs> pictures since 1957, and my goal was to be in National Geographic. Right, right. And 55 years later, we're standing here. So St. George News dug up the story and has spread the word. It's great because right here in St. George, is this piece of history. These 40-foot cement arrows were painted bright yellow. Oh. Had a, this part right here was a tower, and they lit a million candle power light that sh lit this arrow up, which pointed to the next arrow, which pointed to the next arrow. So in the early days of aviation, like Paul was saying, there was no other way to know your way uh, to get around. No, you looked out the side of the plane and went, Oh, That's right. There's Fred's farm. That means I got to turn left. <laughs> so now, John, there's one more super interesting fact about these arrows. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, the very first commercial aircraft that you could buy a ticket, you know, prepay a ticket for, went from Los Angeles to Salt Lake City, and it went by way of these arrows. So every commercial airplane flight from Los Angeles to Salt Lake went right over this valley. That's significant. That is, that is cool. So if you're looking for a little adventure and a family excursion, come check out a piece of aviation history, the Arrows. And you can also check out this National Geographic edition. It came out just this April, this month. And our own local John Tees, he's right smack dab in the middle. When you hear the crash,